Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 35 of Optimize by Oliver. And in this video, I have picked the apparel brand Soul Clothing, okay? It's by the infamous Faceless Soul Bra on Twitter. It's a really, really cool clothing label. And I'm going to pick apart three pages that I feel that these guys could really optimize to increase their conversion rates, their revenue per session, and boost their average order values. Let's jump into it. Okay, so if you haven't seen Optimization by Oliver before, this is a series where I pick really cool brands online that we're not affiliated with, and I show you what I would do if we were hired to increase their revenue possession and their conversion rates or AOVs. I have picked Soul's brand today because I think it's an awesome brand. It's a brand that I'd love to work with, and I have a conversion rate agency called Conversion Wise that for the last 10 years has worked with some of the largest Shopify brands online doing ongoing CRO for them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you before and afters some suggestions that I feel these guys should take on to increase their business and let's just dive straight into it. Okay, let's start with page number one, which is going to be the product page, arguably the most important page on anyone's store, probably the page that gets the most traffic. And I've got six things that I think these guys could do to increase their conversion rates on their product page. Number one, I've added a notice bar that highlights the free shipping. I think this is really important if you want to increase your AOV. It just encourages people to add more to the cart, to hit that threshold, and I think it's a really good addition. Number two, I've made better of the navigation. So when it comes to the thumbnails and the images, I've decreased the size on mobile to be one-to-one -one ratio so that it allows for other important elements to fit above the fold, but it also gives a better user experience by having those thumbnails below the image so you actually know that there's other images to click and I've included chevrons for better UI UX. Number three is I've increased that all important social proof. Yes, these guys did have it, but it was very boring, very standard. It's black icons which don't really pop out. I've changed the color to yellow so they really pop. And then I've increased, included that happy customers tagline that we always use to show that people are very, very happy with the product. Number four, I've enhanced the pricing layout. Not rocket science here, but if you have a sale, you need to go strike through price first, then new price, and then I always include a label that actually tells the consumer the exact savings they're making. It's really important to do the math for people, keep it simple, and more people are likely to purchase. Number five, I've added our famous benefit-driven bullet points. These guys don't actually utilize a product description above the fold, and that's fine. But I think when it comes to something about like apparel or clothing, people like to know the benefit they're getting. What is the quality of the product? What is the experience they're gonna get when buying this? So I think if you can just include three to five benefit-driven bullet points, it's gonna really help sell your product. And number six, I pushed that all important call to action above the fold. By reducing that product image one-to-one, -one, we've enabled us to bring things up, although we've added more elements, and it just allows your mobile, uh, your, phone, your thumb on mobile to click that add to cart button, and we've anchored that button with those payment seals, which also adds trust and credibility. Okay, so page optimization number two is the mega menu. And this is something that not many people do. A lot of people undervalue their menu Menu, actually optimizing your menu and your search menus can actually really increase your overall revenue per store uh, and it's a really undervalued bit of real estate that I think most people forget but you should focus on. It's all about increasing that experience and making it easier for your customers to find where they're trying to go. So we did that with first and foremost number one adding a free shipping prompt inside the menu. We do this on rotation so this would rotate actually all their privacy uh, trust seals and policies guarantees money backs etc just to really instill trust within that menu. Number two, we've added clear images 
to each line item within the menu. You see before it was very bland and boring. Now people can easily establish men versus female, male versus female versus gym equipment, and it just makes it an easier experience to click and get to where you need to be. Number three, we've added social proof. Again, if you look on the left-hand side, there's so much real estate that isn't being used. Now, I'm not saying you have to fill that up. That's absolutely fine. However, this is a really great place to reaffirm your social proof, have a great review in there, and all it's gonna do is add to more people clicking through and purchasing from your store. Okay, and number three is the collection page. Again, a really unoptimized page on this store and on so many. These pages are really, really important to get right. Now you can see that these guys are doing a time sale, so I wanted to keep that the same just so it's consistent, but we've just reduced the padding slightly because one of the main things you need to do on your category or collection pages is show as many products as you can above the fold. So number one, we've reaffirmed that free shipping prompt, especially on your collection if you have quick ad, it just means that people are going to add more products to their cart to then enable that free shipping. Number two, we've added social proof to the collection page. Again, don't think that just because it's a collection page, you don't have to show social proof. You can only show that on your product page or homepage. Not true. Just calling out a nice testimonial or the amount of clients you've served on that collection page is really going to increase your add to carts. Number three is making it as easy as possible on collection pages for people to filter and search for products, okay? Filter and sort by are 100% needed. Don't negate these, don't just think they're only needed on desktop. In fact, they're even more needed on mobile just to make it easier for people to search and find the product they're looking for. And number four, a visual change as you can see. I've slightly reduced each product size to fit four above the fold versus two on the before. And again, as I said at the beginning of this, that's just gonna pull more product above the fold and it's going to be more visual so that people can see different products, they can see your best sellers and then they can make a more informed choice. All that you're doing on the left hand side, the before design is pushing important, really cool products below the fold where people can't see them. Okay guys, so that's it for this week's Optimized by Oliver. As always, if you've got a store that's doing at least 50,000 unique impressions per month and you want to optimize it for more revenue per session to increase your AOVs, then get in touch with us at conversionwise.com to see if you qualify to work with our optimized solution. We'd be happy to hear about your business. If you found this information useful, then please smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss next week's video. I'll see you again next week and thank you again for watching. Thank you.